So our group dedicates a considerable effort to better understand the importance of two fundamental molecules in the regulation of blood flow, the oxygen that we breathe and the carbon dioxide that our cells produce, and how these molecules control brain function and health, and how this regulation is impaired uh, or altered with aging, with disease, and with a number of common medications that we take. So you might think this is a no-brainer, but it's not. So diseases of the brain are a global health problem. Indeed, these diseases connect most people in this room. Most of us have had a family member or a close friend uh, experience a disease of the brain, including, but not, certainly not limited to, things like stroke and dementia. Now, the first wave of baby boomers turned 65 in 2011, and that's next year, folks. Um, that, will, that group will contribute to a doubling of the Canadian population over 65 years over the next uh, 25 years. In the U.S., the number of centenarians is projected to increase from 70,000 today to 600,000 in 2050. Since diseases of the brain are directly related to age, a cerebrovascular disease tsunami is projected uh, in the next 25 years. Some of the world's leading academic institutions and granting agencies have recognized this emerging problem and are devoting significant resources towards better understanding the aging brain. On our part, we recently completed a study involving a group of postmenopausal women aged 50 to 90 years of age, many of whom are displayed here on this poster in front of me. And our study showed for the first time that improvements in brain blood flow with fitness play an important role in cognition. Our results provided the compelling basis for an exercise intervention study that we're now conducting. Our study will engage 250 men and women from our community, and each will dedicate 18 months to the study. This is really a, a heroic effort and undertaking uh, that will involve a coordinated effort by a large multidisciplinary team. Our approach enables us to better understand how active living may prevent vascular problems in the brain. So this poster um, to my left here officially launches the study. It features our star volunteer, 92-year-old Mercedes Schmidt, and our newly developed uh, study logo that we spent a bit of time developing. Our work is also taking us abroad. We recently established a unique partnership with the mining sector, which involves a collaboration with high-altitude copper mining operations in Chile and Peru to better understand the effects of altitude on brain uh, health of their miners. Our approach is certainly applicable to a number of sectors right here in Alberta. Finally, the success of our research program is due in large part to the outstanding trainees that work with us. And I would like to introduce you to two of those trainees who are here attending the workshop, uh, Andrew Baudin and Mary Poon. And I, there they are. And I would encourage you uh, to connect with them uh, to learn more about their work over the next couple of days. Thank you for your attention.